Hey folks, how's it going? So this video is a compilation of the last four videos that I've produced on the Istabreeze i1500. And I did an unboxing and a review, and I did a total installation of the tower and the installation of the generator itself on top of the tower. And if you'd like to watch those videos in a little bit more detail, I'll put the links in the description below. And I chose a tilt-up tower because of how easy it makes it to access this thing anytime in the future uh, and to be able to work on it and make adjustments or whatever. The layout itself, pretty straightforward. Just make sure your holes are symmetrical. You got four guy wires and you got your center post pier, if you will, where the tower rests upon, which is not going to really experience a whole lot of forces. The center part that is the dead men yes they will experience forces they're going to try and pull up out of the ground so dig them accordingly my holes were three and a half feet deep uh, showing the winch there i got a additional eye here that i'm putting down in the concrete to attach to if i want to take the winch off and get it out of the weather made some bolts with some long rebar welded to them to attach the winch to everything was put in the ground with concrete the uh, dead men themselves, so I put two sacks of concrete at the bottom of the hole, put the dead men in, it was good enough. And the dead men themselves were just uh, 3 8 rebar with a welded eye on one end and a J-hook on the bottom to make good purchase into the concrete at the bottom of the hole. With the exception of the winch. The winch I poured concrete all the way to the surface like I'm doing here, and the winch was mounted right on the top as well. Each hole was filled with dirt afterwards uh, and tamped down. I show that whole process in my other videos. Pretty simple. The center pier um, used a bucket, worked out pretty good, and uh, kind of repurposed a, I think it was a, some kind of a grinder attachment. The guy wires, somewhat technical. You know, you have to get them all even. You have to make good, strong connections. The first couple ones are a little clumsy. But once you get the process going, it's it's fairly simple and straightforward. You just keep repeating it after each section that you add. The first section, you plumb it up. Make sure all four of your guy wires are on. And you'll have two additional guy wires on your gin pole itself. When that, So when your gin pole is vertical, it won't fall over one way or the other either. Here I have my first section up. It's all plumbed up. The tires are properly tight. Or the, excuse me, the wires are probably t properly tightened. And then you add the additional poles. And you add the additional wires and you add another pole and then those wires and so on and so forth. And this is how you achieve your tower. Now my tower is 30 foot in height, which I would consider probably the minimum. And, and in the future I can add to that if I'd like. There are formulas that state that the tower has to be a 30 feet above any obstructions within a certain distance of the tower in order to get that good, clean, laminar flow of air without too much turbulence. And that's important because that's going to give you the maximum amount of energy that you can achieve out of one of these. Installation of the Ista Breeze was, well, a breeze. It went quickly and... Uh, very little IQ needed to assemble it, which, you know, anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So there she is. There's some numbers. It is what I expected. Seven foot rotor and rated wind gave me around 30 amps. So about 750 watts. Got my conduit, my, my trench dug, my conduit in. There's a... Uh, a bolt I found laying on the bottom of the tower after a quick ins inspection. So we lowered it to find out what happened. Where did this bolt come from? And it wound up actually coming out of the stub itself. Uh, one of my viewers suggested in a comment that the top of the tower be slotted, where then a muffler clamp could be uh, used to squeeze down on the stub of the wind generator itself with the addition of the bolts. I think. I mean, it's a great idea. 
Also was suggested that instead of the conduit that I used to construct this tower with, that uh, oil fill pipe was used. And I, I couldn't agree more. I think oil fill pipe is a fantastic solution. It's cheaper, it's extremely strong, and it's also very heavy. So maybe you might have to beef up your winch a little bit. So I got the conduit in the ground. This kind of shows you somewhat, you know, the amount of work that you're going to be in on with this type of an installation, depending on how far it is from your house, depending on your soil condition, et cetera, et cetera. But she's a great looking turbine. There she is in the air, making power. The rule of thumb here is whenever you get a wind generator installed, it usually takes weeks for the wind to blow. That's just how it works. But for some reason, uh, the wind just happened to be blowing on day one of my tower raising. So I was very pleased with that. Great addition to any yard of an off-grid cabin or home, I must say. Hey, folks, thanks a lot for watching. If you like my content, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you and bye-bye.